everyone. I'm at the With the Coochie State Trail today, and this is a remake of my original and very first video of the With the Coochie Trail that I did. During our 47 mile trip, you're going to see Ride with GPS maps come up. Now, these are suggested little side trips if you want to take them. All the roads have very little traffic and they're good roads. I ride them all the time. I hope you enjoy them. And let's go on our way. Okay, another quick stop along the uh, 47 miles of the Whistlecoochee. Uh, they have placed little uh, picnic tables, covers, great for when uh, you have a sudden thunderstorm coming along. And also you'll notice that we have a nice canopy over the trail for most of the uh, 23 miles till you get to Floral City. After that, you have a, a few sections of uh, open, open terrain and it gets a little hilly up that end. Okay, and one more stop here. Uh, the interstate you see straight ahead. If you come out here before sunrise and after sunset, there's tens of thousands of bats underneath the interstate. Over here to the right is Silver Lake Recreation Complex. We have a lot of uh, northerners come over there and spend the winter, and you can see there's a uh, uh, trail entrance uh, right here where they come down and ride on the trail. And here's the Good Neighbor Trail. You have several options on this. The Good Neighbor Trail is about 10 miles long. It takes you into Brooksville. Uh, and on your way to Brooksville, to the end of the train station, there's a, a hot dog place called Coney Island. And they have the best hot dogs. And I like the uh, fried dill pickles. Uh, you can also take this trail, and I'll sh show you a little map, out and come back the road section. No traffic. It's just a beautiful little excursion off the Withlacoochee Trail if you're interested. We're back. This is uh, 10 miles out from the south end, and this is what we call the uh, off-road bathroom. This is a real important intersection on the Withlacoochee, uh, mainly because you can go north, uh, you can go up the road, uh, and it's a road, and uh, go up to Tucker Hill. It's a beautiful road up there, and lots of little hills. It's about uh, eight miles. And uh, you can come around on another trail, which it comes on to the Withlacoochee they just paved. It's called the Good Neighbor Trail. Also, here is mountain bike trails. Lots and lots of mountain bikers. You have them parked here, and there's probably 25 miles of mountain bike trails. So at this intersection, Nobleton Road, or they call it Edgewater, uh, you go down that way. And there's a little place on the right-hand side on the river called River Rats. A lot of people go down there to eat, and I'm not talking about that stuff right there. Okay, I'm at mile marker 18 just before the intersection. You guys really need to stop and uh, take a look at this. They had a giant train wreck here years ago. Two trains head-on collision. And... Uh, 1956 there's all the information if you look back over here there is some of the wreck still there now down this direction the right and the left there's a field check out to see deer there i've seen them many 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 times if you want to see a deer and on to the next one coming up to the little intersection where you come out if you took gobbler's loop or you can go this way and catch gobbler's loop This road has very little traffic on it and it gives you something to see besides the trail. Okay, we just went by the 19 mile mark. Now if you really want to see some deer, check out the next mile all along this fence. It's some kind of a deer park. And I'll put a couple pictures up here that I've taken in the past. But all you need to do is look over there and you're gonna see some deer. They're wild deer. I don't know what he does with them. 
but there's an awful lot. I've seen as many as a hundred out in the pasture late at night. Okay, this is Floral City intersection. And that way you have a nice restaurant and a bike shop right here on the corner. Take care of your flat tires, etc. And bathroom straight ahead. And this is Fort Cooper. If you're interested in another little side trip, it's uh, a $2 entry fee, but it's well worth it. You can go out and ride around and make your uh, trip a little extended. Yay, we are at mile marker 23, just outside of Floral City. We're coming out to Kobosh Lane, and everybody likes to eat. I thought maybe you guys would quite like to see this place. Get up here a little bit closer. But it's called Robin's Country Kitchen. Okay, this is Gobbler's Loop. And if you'll take a right hand turn down this road, there's a real nice ride, and it actually uh, once you follow it, you come out back out on 48, which will lead you back to Floral City. But if you take the next road to your left, it will drop you back down onto um, the trail. Uh, this little side exit I'm taking here, you're getting off the trail and you're going to get on Route 200 and you'll see it in the map. It takes you to the new Sankos paved trail. 200 has a wide uh, bicycle lane. It's about uh, 10 to 12 miles. Uh, you'll see the cars parking. You'll see the cars parked on the uh, right hand side and uh, once you get on the uh, Sankos Trail, it's another 15 miles to the Sankos Trailhead. This next little map, I'm going to show you how to get over to the uh, Rainbow River Extension, which down the road I guess they'll call it the with the Coochie Trail when they make a connector. Uh, there's a couple ways to get over there. Just take a look at the map and decide which way you want to go. They're all pretty safe. 41 has a nice wide path. Um, and I'm going to ride back uh, the back way to the end of the trail. They just paved that road so it's real nice. And uh, you can decide. Okay, after I uh, took a little dip in the water there, I've turned around and I'm heading back and I get on 41 and head south. And there's a little sign you'll see uh, to turn to the trail. Uh, I used to not take this road because it was so rough. It's paved now. Just go all the way down to the end of the road and take a left-hand turn and you'll see the trail uh, ending trailhead. Uh, and then I'm on my way back. And that's all, folks. Uh, if you need any special maps or anything uh, off of the uh, with the coochie, give me a holler and I'll make you one up. See ya.